North Carolina is working to increase broadband access in the region. State Representative Jason Sane joins us now for an update. And Jason, thank you so much for joining us here today on the Market Day Report. So why is it well, that thanks, many thanks rural areas uh, lack high-speed broadband? John, they really, they really do. And, you know, one of the challenges in North Carolina, like many states, we've got varying terrain and, and uh, populations that are sparse in many of our rural areas. So it's the broadband hasn't reached those folks yet, and or at least nothing that looks like high-speed broadband that the folks in more, you know, uh, suburban and urban areas get to enjoy. And so one of the one of the challenges we have, like like many other rural states, is getting that broadband deployed uh, to our citizens, so that uh, particularly during a pandemic, as we've seen, trying to deliver education, telehealth, and and other services, uh, it, it's just we're not competing on the same field. And so uh, we're we're looking at ways to quickly deploy broadband and and get those communities connected. So why is it more expensive to build in rural areas? Well, the biggest challenge for, for rural areas is just a, a sheer number of people. The, 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 num the numbers just aren't there. Uh, there's a reason that folks like uh, like me like to live in, in, in places in, like rural areas and, and near uh, agriculture communities. It's just a, a different way of life, and we enjoy that. But at the same time, it means there's not a, there's not a lot of customers to add on to 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 you know your your traditional providers and so finding ways to do that and and to innovate and accelerate that process uh, i think is very important and so we we've, we've got to get those folks connected and and it, really it's the cost that's been the challenge so what in your opinion can be done to address this problem well with with all the federal funds that have come down uh and we've seen the fcc uh release ardoff money ardoff is uh, for, for directed right at rural communities, uh, rural digital um, uh, outlay uh, that can go out and, 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 and be invested in infrastructure. Uh, so there's federal dollars that have already come down before the pandemic, and then that was already in a process. And then the, with the uh, ARP money that has come down, the ARPA money that has come down from the feds, uh, can be put to projects, infrastructure projects. So one of the things we're going to do in North Carolina is our rural co-ops have have polls that are out there that are you know they have a, a lifespan uh, and sometimes those polls aren't aren't ready they're not ready for to hold uh, broadband uh, equipment that could be delivering that broadband out to the rural area so we're going to use some of those infrastructure dollars and put that toward replacing those poles so that the internet providers can can then uh, get on those poles faster and and in so doing uh, get the broadband out to people in the rural areas. So uh, what's your feeling? Do you feel like you may have enough support for this bill with all of your colleagues? Well, broadband has been a topic at the legislature for the last several years, and that was you know, prior to the pandemic. We knew it was important. Uh, we, were, we were already putting funds and, and working in it with public-private partnerships, uh, working with the providers and the state to, to deliver broadband in areas, you know, what, what we could afford. Uh, now we can afford so much more with with the additional federal dollars. So I know there's support there, and I know that communities are are, are really wanting it. Uh, I, you know, I, I've got a I've got a farmer in my district that because he can't get access to broadband, even some of the new equipment that he has that could really help him accelerate uh, his farm and his farming operation and add to his bottom line and and provide for his family. Uh, without that broadband connection, it's not working. So uh, there's there's certainly demand. Uh, there's certainly you know uh, particularly with with kids. Uh, who, who had to go to school online uh, this past year and, and instead had to go uh, sit in the parking lots of their schools or sit in the parking lot of McDonald's or somewhere like that. Uh, getting that broadband out to those households, I think, is, is, is certainly important. I think most of our members understand that, whether they're from the urban areas or from the rural areas, they know just how important this is. Uh, Mr. Representative, it sounds like many of our North Carolina audience could benefit from this legislation. Is there anything they can do to help? They can. Uh, they, they one can contact their legislators and just let them know that they that they're in full support. Uh, that's one thing that they can do. The other thing that they can do is 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 make it known to their co-ops that they like this idea. Uh, that that hey, let them buy that infrastructure for you. They're going to get the upgrade, so they get the benefit from a from an electricity standpoint. They get the benefit of the upgrade, so they'll they'll want that. And 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 again, it's something they're not going to have to pay for in their bill. Uh, and and then also let those providers know we want you in our communities. Uh, we, we all know that, but I think I think beating that drum and 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 for and for the emails and the phone calls that I get from from folks in my district who live in these unserved areas, they're ready. And so just just let it be known. 
Okay, well, we sure appreciate your time. Thank you very much. That's North Carolina State Representative Jason Sane joining us here on the Market Day Report.